Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. Hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be helping out Grey Garden. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go into our pit boy We have gained one level, and I'm going to put it into Sneak. And that's all we'll probably put into Sneak, because this last one kind of sucks. So I'm not going to bother with it. Also... Let's put on some Molotov cocktails and equipped our 10 millimeter pistol. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility run entirely by robots. That's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making, a testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. I remember him. He was one of Robco's senior engineers, but more than a little eccentric. You seem a bit confused, darling. You're far too young to remember anything that happened before the war. I was in a vault. They put me in cryogenic freeze. Remarkable! I must say, darling, you seem very well preserved. Now, where was I? Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Why did Dr. Gray give you these unusual personalities? Genius is restless, darling. It abhors stagnation. Dr. Gray was tired of the standard Mr. Handy personality. He looked to his favorite television characters for inspiration, and we are the result. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Oh, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? It's awful. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Pressure is down, radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. What do you need me to do? Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Alright, let's go ahead and start making our way to the facility we're gonna kind of come down here by the houses I said you could loot in the last video we're gonna take this path down here then when we get to the bottom of this path we'll uh, take the road on down to um, I forget what the hell she just said. I wasn't really paying attention, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, where we're going, by the way, uh, is full of super mutants, at least in the front. So be very careful. One of them usually has a rocket launcher. We'll see if we have to deal with that or not. Uh, hopefully not. 
most of them have a suicider suicide suicider uh, suicide bomber there we go suicide bomber um super super mutant over here as well i'm just gonna come to terms that uh words do not like me <laughs> we're gonna crouch try to make our way as close as we can before we get caught or seen or whatever not really caught they're not throwing us in jail or anything All right, we want to be really careful. There's that suicider or suicide. Yeah, suicider. It is a suicider. What's that? Found you. Okay, I just couldn't get a good aim on his hand. But if you shoot his hand with the nuke, whatever uh, hand has the nuke in it, you will be able. Oh my God, there's a lot. Be very careful. I'm gonna feast on your flesh, human! Ah, get off! There he is. Ah, Alright, sweet. Lord. We got the uh, one that's kind of difficult. I mean, he oh, is difficult. Whoa. You get shot with um, that rocket launcher. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. For sure. Bastard, just die! Oh, poor dog meat. I cannot... Oh, there we go. For the for the longest time, I just could not grab that. There's the makeshift bomb. Where'd you go? Huh? Gonna find <laughs> you? Gonna kill you? My lord. Oh, wow. We're almost dead. <laughs> that could have been really bad. That would have sucked. I probably would have just restarted the cord recording. So I would have died here. Right at the beginning. Let's go inside here. What it, What is this place? Weston Water Treatment Plant. That's where she was sending us. We're going to actually get a magazine in here. For the settlement building. So if you're not into settlement building, it's okay. Still a magazine. You want to collect them all regardless, right? Uh, over there, you can pick the lock on that door. Or you can go upstairs to go to the roof. We're not going to do either. Behind that door, um, there's not really any valuable Going loot. Down. So I'm not gonna bother. Jeez, dog meat's floating. Lower level. Quite a feat you got there, bud. Be careful for turrets. We gotta worry about turrets now, and mire lurks. We'll go downstairs. We're gonna drain the water. We're not gonna go through that door, but we are gonna drain the water. That way we don't. Of course, I would close the lid. Don't close the lid on yourself. <laughs> and then we're going to come back up here. Open up this door here. Let's take out the turret first. And then there's one more down there. And then here's our magazine. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and lockpick the safe. That's it. All right. Also, just a heads up, this is probably going to be one of the longer episodes just because we have a ton of magazines to get today. It's better to get them now than to have to backtrack and get them later. Plus, we're completing a quest in the process. Preston Garvey, by the way, off screen, had uh, gave me this quest. It's a settlement quest. I just figured it gives us a reason to get a bunch of these magazines while doing this quest. Fucking Mirelurk. Also remember, we did get the astoundingly awesome tales. 
which gives us a 5% extra damage bonus to Mire Lurks. Let's uh, lockpick this door. Sweet. All right. I just wanted to kill the turret. <laughs> I love my experience. Soon it'll come to a point where a lot of the stuff that is in these rooms where it's just like, ah, it's just a little bit of loot here and there. I probably won't end up going through, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't uh, go through them and try to uh, loot it all, you know? I'm just trying to save some time for the uh, walkthrough <coughs> and Jesus, calm down turret. <laughs> trying to commentate here. Uh, go ahead and pull the lever here. Jeez, dog meat is just as bad. Have a mire lurk here. Oh, we got one that. Oh, <coughs> damn. Did not see you. Obviously, because I ran right into it. It's usually a strong sign and saying, like, oh, I didn't see you there. Eh, not really something I would use. Just keep making our way to the bottom. Keep pulling the levers and, um, or switches or whatever the fuck you want to call them. And we're just, uh, clearing out the water so that the pumps can, um, push water back to Grey Garden. Grab some Mire Lurk meat there. We are going to have a few Mire Lurks right here as well. But, let's see, what do we got? Molotov cocktails? <coughs> oh. Make it easier to kill him? Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Thought it was going to be easier, but apparently it was not. Go figure, right? Try to do something awesome, and I do the opposite. There go. There's another Meyer Lurk raid in here. Yeah, he's going to pop out. He's always there. Um, can you look for me? Thanks. Oh, wow. Forgot about the other one. That extra 5% damage to Mire Lurks really does help out a lot. Why it makes me go faster in water is beyond me. I don't know. you think you'd go slower. <laughs> What's up, dog meat? Swimming in the water, taking his taking his monthly bath. I'm sure he has not been cleaned in years or months. I don't know how old he is. Not that that's even a big deal. <laughs> Why are we determining what how old dog meat is? All right, let's go up the uh going up Elevator here. Surface. Got a little bit of lag there. Yep, you found something, dog meat. Congratulations, bud.
Life is a race. Win. <laughs> uh, that would be just like a car commercial or billboard. Spot on, Bethesda. Spot on. We're going to take a left and uh, come down this road here. This road will be coming back uh, later when we're actually progressing more of the story. Because we're not really progressing any other story right now. Um, let's go up this pathway here. We're honestly only doing like a bunch of side missions and, um, you know, grabbing some magazines. Which is actually rather good because eventually we're going to need a uh, better sneak and, and whatnot. So which one of the magazines we'll be getting today is going to be the U.S. Covert Operations Manual. Uh, that, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Um, and that helps our sneak, so we'll be a little sneakier. Speaking of, uh, being sneaky, there are a ton of ghouls over here. So, just be ready. That's all I got to say. Just be ready. He's over here somewhere. There's another ghoul right there. Oh, nice. We got a level. We're actually going to put this level into um, probably our gun nut. That way we can level up our pistols. Eventually, I'm going to start putting points into rifle. I know I said that at the beginning. Like, oh, we're going to put points into rifle. And then I have not put a single point into the rifle perk. I know. I always do everything I'm going to say, right? <laughs> All right. Now we can listen to these hollow tapes. So I'll shut up. There's three of them. It's called the new squirrel. Hello. My name is Storytime Simon, and I hope you like stories because I love to tell stories. This one is called the new squirrel. Come with me on this magical adventure. There once was a young squirrel named Ricky who lived in a big oak tree in a city park. Ricky was a brown squirrel and lived in the oak tree with all his brown squirrel friends and family. Every day, Ricky would look out from the top of his tree and wonder what kind of squirrels lived in other trees. The older squirrels warned Ricky that the squirrels in other trees were thieves and liars. They were never to be trusted. Ricky had a rebellious heart and would not form his opinions based on anecdotal evidence. End of holotape. Please insert holotape two. Storytime Simon here. Welcome back. And here it is, part two of The New Squirrel. One night, a red squirrel appeared at the bottom of Ricky's oak tree and woke Ricky and his family. Oh, please help me, said the red squirrel. I am lost and have nowhere to go. The elders were quick to turn the red squirrel away, but Ricky scurried down the trunk of his tree and stood firm next to the red squirrel. He yelled up at the elder squirrels. How could you turn him away? Just because he's from another tree? He needs our help. Affected by Ricky's assuredness and determination, the elders agreed to take in the Red Squirrel. The Red Squirrel thanked Ricky for standing up for him. You won't regret this, he said. End of holotape. Please insert holotape three. Let's grab the live and love first. Hell yeah. And then the third holotape is right here. Storytime Simon here with the exciting conclusion to The New Squirrel. Tomorrow we can get to know each other and become best friends, said Ricky to the Red Squirrel. The Red Squirrel made a sound that Ricky took for agreement, and the two squirrels curled up to sleep. Later that night, Ricky woke up to the sound of leaves rustling in the oak tree. He looked around. The Red Squirrel was gone. Ricky surveyed the landscape below and saw a pack of glowing eyes approaching the base of his tree. 
cats. Ricky heard a voice from a nearby tree. It was the red squirrel. I'm sorry, he said. They were following me and I couldn't bring them to my tree. They would have eaten my family. As the cats ascended the tree and began to devour Ricky's friends and family, Ricky reflected on his decisions. His last words were, I really wish I would have trusted my elders. The end. What a messed up story in so many different levels here. Let's follow this uh, around. We're going to cross this bridge. And we're going to kind of bypass over by arc jet. Oh, there's some death claws over there. Look at that. Oof. Yeah, good thing we're not going to Arc Jet. <laughs> I really don't want to mess with no uh, death claws right now. That'd suck. Especially two at the same time. No, thank you. If you want to uh, loot that little shack there, feel free. I'm not going to, but no, it's there. We're actually going to hang a left up here and we're going to crouch. Maybe <laughs> I'm getting stuck on a piece of road. It's popped up the lip of the road. Oh, you know what? Didn't we gain a level? We did. Let's put our level into gun nut here. And then I think the next level will go into armorer. Federal ration stockpile. We want to be a little sneaky here. And I was not sneaky enough. I can't see. No. Move. <laughs> Try not to die. <laughs> Almost died there for being stupid. Like, hey, we need to be sneaky. I am the opposite of sneaky right here. Oh my god, quit with with the grenades here. Okay. I'm just trying to loot this dog. Oh well. Not gonna bother with the dog. Not that important. You feel that? It's called fear. Ah, get up there. Come around this way. Hello, sir. Bastard. Take out the turret here. I think, there's a, I think this is the last raid or two. Nope, one more. There you are. There you go. I thought that was a hollow tape for a second. I'm like, how did I pass up a hollow tape? All right, let's go inside. Take these uh, cans down. 
What the? Got him. Let's turn off this radio. You can go down that way if you like. We're not going to. Ah, that's what I was looking for. Let's go down these stairs. Be careful not to shoot your weapon in this room. There's gas. Uh, I mean, I guess you could, like, essentially shoot it and then go in. So it doesn't, you know, mess you up. Thought there was another raider over here. Did we kill him already? No way. You can unlock that door if you want. The ammo box as well. We're not going to. I could have swore there was a raider over here. Oh well. Just trying to get up there. I'm, I'm not going to waste my time doing that. Man down! There we go. Take that guy out. Man, there's radios all around here. The hell? <laughs> Turn this radio off real quick. We're just literally following the path through. Hey! <gasps> Fucking hide from me? You're dead. Are you oh. kidding me? <laughs> Fucking hide from me? You're dead. All right, if you say so. They're probably going to come through this door. If not, we're going through. <coughs> nice. <coughs> Got a, oh, damn, she's a raider? Or not a raider, a legendary? Duh, she's a raider. <laughs> no shit, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> oh, that's not bad at all. Holy shit. Strength and endurance upgrade? Yes. Even though we have uh, some combat armor. Let's go ahead and do a quick save. I I just don't want the game to crash and not have that armor. Grab uh, the meds here. If your uh, hacking is up high enough, you could just hack this terminal. Um, on the other side, that is, and come straight over here and skip a big portion. But I'm not about that life. Let's finish up here. Huh? No! Don't you die! Ah! We're getting wasted! Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Ha! Found your sorry ass. Just die. Let's heal once. Just in case, purse. Just in case, purse. Just in case. Purposes. Uh. That it? <coughs> I don't think I'll ever get words down at this rate. <coughs> Grab some combat armor. I actually really enjoy combat armor. I'm not sure if I'll stick with leather or combat armor, but I really like both. Here's our U.S. Covert Operations Manual. Nice. Now will be even more difficult to uh, see when we're sneaking. Grab this Nuka Cola Quantum. Some medics and psycho, uh, some lore for those of you that are into that. Now we can just head out. Head out. We still got to go to two more spots and then turn in this quest. So let's climb this ladder and I'll see everybody on the other side.
All right, nothing special in here. Let's, and no. Let's get out of here. Oh, thanks, dog meat. You opened up the door for me. And we're going to head northeast. This is going to send us to Sunshine Tidings. There is a bandit camp up there. So if you want to go shoot them up for a little bit of extra experience, feel free. Some uh, wild corn over there. We want to go up here. We're going to have a few ghouls, so be prepared. One more. Ooh. <coughs> We're getting a lot of legendaries. Not bad. Ugh. I'm not a melee person. <laughs> so for whoever is a melee person, I'm sorry. I'm like, ugh, nasty. It was something that was melee. Let's heal ourselves up real quick. That way we don't die. Nice. This is pretty cool. If you like to cook or you're trying to collect uh, meat so that you can um have heads on the wall of different animals and stuff like that this can help out a lot you just get double the meat from uh killing animals which is really cool so like mire lurks rad stags yaogwais you name it also this can be turned into a settlement oh pff, running into trees <laughs> all right so we're heading down east here we're going to go to Walden's Walden Pond or Walden's Pond. Something like that. Walden something. Don't know if it's plural or not. I don't know. Singular something. I don't, I don't know. I can't even pronounce words right. <laughs> uh. Oh, let's crouch. There's a... Speaking of Yaogwais... There's a Yaogwai right there. Let's not get his attention. Sneak on down this way. Walden. Okay. Yeah, Walden Pond. That's what I said. I knew that the whole time. <laughs> This is the last stop that we have, and then we're going to head back to Grey Garden. I am going to fast travel to Grey Garden. There's no sense in backtracking and running all through the places that we've already been. So after we're done with this spot, we're just going to fast travel out and then um, turn in the quest. So let's go ahead and go through this drainage pipe. I'll see everybody in just a second. So this guy made sure he had everything he needed before he started his camping trip in that little shack up top. Double checked his list and everything. And that's why they call it being the rogue. Oh, and this guy invented trans, uh, transal... Trains dentalism, moron. You sound like an idiot. How the hell you know all this? I read a book that one time when we ran out of grognacks. I wish I could read. <laughs> Damn! Oh. Hearing shit. Popped his head right the fuck off. <laughs> that would suck, though. Just sitting there and pop. Uh, let's get Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. Nice. We are going to be able to smooth talk our way through a lot of situations and have some good ass prices at um, vendors. Which is good. I thought there was one more person here. I guess not. Someone there? See, I fucking knew it. 
<laughs> I stand up for two seconds. Uh, get a loady. Let's go over here. Here's a uh, special weapon. This is called Big Jim. There we go. Has a chance to uh, cripple target's uh, limbs. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Let's go into dog meat real quick. Dog meat. Dog meat. Hey. All right. We'll get the bottle cap mine too. And then dog meat. Get the hell out of the way, bud. Now let's go through this door. I'll see everybody on the other side. Let's grab this overdue book. Sorry, dog meat was in the way. There's a cap stash as well. Be careful. Bunch of makeshift bombs over here. And then uh, let's go into our pit boy. And then we'll go down to Grey Garden, maybe. And I'll see everybody in just a second. All right. Oh, we don't have to crouch anymore. Let's go turn in this quest. Darling, so good to see you. You fixed our water problem, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, such a gentleman, too. I simply must give you something. Here, you can have some of our produce. I'll ask Greeny to give you a discount, too, if there's anything else you need. Now I simply must get back to work. Ta-ta! Alright. Grey Garden is also a settlement, so you can uh, build up Grey Garden as well if you'd like. Um, I don't know if I will or won't. It's a pretty cool settlement, but eh, not really something I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta build this settlement up. All right, now that that's all been said and dealt with and all that good stuff, let's go ahead and end the video. Uh, I want to start off with saying thank you everyone that has stopped by and watched the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. If you enjoy content just like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And like always, everybody, I hope that you all have a good morning, good afternoon, or good night or whatever time it is in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.